what am I doing here? What are you doing here? Wait, before you say anything, I want some poses and I want some pictures. You ladies look fabulous. <laughs> oh, perfect. These pictures are going to make my career. Everyone will want me now. How did you know we were here? Uh, the buzz is out there. You know Gibson's. I heard you ladies were caught doing something strange down at the ferry terminal. They said that you were thrown in jail as suspected terrorists. Wow, what a story! I also heard that you tore down the fence and planted flowers to confuse the public, thinking nobody would know. <laughs> Has Jonathan said anything yet? Susan, your husband doesn't talk to anybody in town, so I doubt he's heard a thing. But I heard you ladies were caught smoking pot and they found oh, no, 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 no. You must have been. Okay, okay, so nobody said that. But it makes for a hot story, right? Yeah. Come on, Wayne, you gotta get serious. You might be the only one who can help get us out of here. Yeah, you said the buzz is already out there. So yeah. what are the reactions? What are they saying? Yeah. Believe it or not, many of them asked me to sneak in. They thought I had pull with my career and could get away with it. They wanted me to make sure that you're being treated fairly. And if there's anything that they can do to help out. Well, how about an apple pie with a file in it? A file for what, Susan? They don't lock doors in here, Susan. <laughs> right. Jeannie feels bad, too. She knows the mayor puts you up to something special for those visiting losers! <laughs> yeah, you know, the mayor asked us to make the town look good, and where is he now? Yeah, where is that bird guy now? If he doesn't come soon, I'll have to live with my mother. No, Susan, you'll be living in prison. Apparently, Judith called the mayor's office this morning, and they said he was in Whistler, Birdie. His cell phone isn't working, and there's been a minor mudslide. Oh, oh, oh. It's confirmed that he is okay. They guaranteed her that he'd be on the 1.30 Saturday ferry, but not before. Which means he'll be arriving with the delegates. And he knows nothing of your situation here. The poor oh, mayor. No. We didn't know. Yeah. Here, let's bring this bench up. <laughs> Are you sure he's okay? They said he's all right. You ladies need to know that whatever it is you want right now, there are many out there who are willing to help you. Oh, wow. Well, there are a few issues. Judith has taken it upon herself to appear like the town hero yeah. who has caught the worst offenders. She's treating us like criminals, like terrorists. Now, I don't want her taken down because of it. Well, her convictions are almost honorable. Yes, Judith has to save face. So that means we'll have to, uh, you know, do it ourselves. You got that right. According to the new terrorist act, the arresting officer can hold a prisoner indefinitely. In a town our size, only the mayor can overrule an officer. Well, that's easy. Let's um, find the forms and I'll forge his signature. That yeah, wouldn't be the first time, right? No. That would be illegal. Now, let me get this right. The mayor is the only one that can overrule an officer. But what if he's ill or missing like now? What? I hear something. Oh, oh the officer! Wait, I forgot about him. When I, I snuck see. in, he was watching sports on TV. I never thought one of you ladies has got a high beam. Quick, turn off the lights. Sit on him. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Good, he's gone. 
Ray? Was that you that called him on his phone? And you don't want to know how I got his number. <laughs> Wait, I want you to get, um, uh, what's her name? Jeannie on the phone and get Leah and Johnson's private cell number. I want to find out about this mayor and the ruling business. Yeah. And who replaces the mayor in the event of an emergency? I have everybody's <laughs> private cell number. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, how big of a favor do you owe her? I mean, or does she owe you? Because, like, maybe she can make it up. Fake. Oh, no. Oh, no. Make it oh, up. Good. Okay. It won't be true. It's good. Come on, Leah. Answer. Come on, Leah. You know, I bet if she's out partying again. Oh, yeah. That's oh, Leanne yeah. already. Come on, Leanne. Come on, Leanne, answer. Somebody. She's got to be out there. She's sleeping. I bet she's sleeping from all that. Turning it all. Yeah. It's got a signal. It's ringing. Hello? Leanne, where are you? I'm watching a play in Gibson's and you're disturbing everybody here. Why did you get my private number? Uh, I'll explain later. I need you to listen right now. In the event of the mayor's absence, who makes the decisions for him in an emergency? What's the emergency? Four of Gibson's finest ladies are in prison right now. Corporal Officer Judith suspects them of being terrorists. And it's a complete misunderstanding, and we need to get them out of here right away. Yeah. Oh, this can wait till the mayor gets back. No! no. Uh, not a good idea, Leanne. We need to be home. Uh, I've been receiving hundreds of phone calls from the townspeople. They're getting ready right now to march to Upper Gibson's and tear down those traffic lights, the, the, the speed bumps, and the gospel rock fencing. Unless these ladies are released immediately, this is not going to be a peaceful protest. No, no. Leanne, it's May. May? What are you doing there? I'm one of the terrorists. Oh, right. <laughs> now, listen to me. You owe me big time, right? Oh, come on, May. We were kids then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Besides that, you smoked up as much as me, and you burned more bras than me. <laughs> oh, yeah? I don't think council would want to know about the jail time. Come on, I've kept my silence all these years. Oh, I need you now. Fair is fair. Yeah, and you've made it into a permanent indebtedness. This is the very last time. <coughs> what do you want? Leanne and Sheila. You too? Yes, and Amber and Susan. You have got to get us out of here. The town cannot afford the damage that will occur during this protest, and we have big visitors arriving on Saturday. It's the losers. They want to check us out. Yeah, the mayor got caught in a mudslide. He's the only one that can overrule. That can't be true. The mayor's missing in a mudslide? Yeah. Oh, nobody told me. <laughs> yeah, party time is over. The town needs you. Who replaces the mayor in the event of an emergency? Tell us, Leanne. If oh, I'm thinking. <coughs> Leanne, remember, fire, draws. <coughs> Prison time. Oh, okay. Well, there's something I heard at a beachcombers reunion a couple summers ago. Okay. It might work. If you hold a golden key to the town, yeah. you have the jurisdiction to replace the mayor yeah. in an emergency, but there are three requirements that must be met. What? 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 Okay. The first one is the mayor has been unavailable for 24 hours. Yeah, okay. Okay, the second one is his unavailability has to be due to natural causes. We've got that covered. Okay, and the third one is the uh, decision has to affect more than half of the community. I'm looking out the jail cell window right now and there's at least 75 people outside and more marching this way. Yeah. Okay. Well, you have to have a show of hands, and you'll need three witnesses. <coughs> Do you want to see these ladies freed? <laughs> yeah. Listen to the crowd out there. <laughs> golden key to the 
town. I don't know. <laughs> the mayor has the file locked up in his office somewhere. Oh. Wait, you have got to get that file. Leanne, I want you to meet Wayne in the mayor's office in 15 minutes, and I promise your debt is paid. All right. Good. Now, Wayne, give us your cell phone, and the minute you've got that file, call us. But it can't bring it here. Oh, right. She's yes. right. I could put it on vibrate. Oh. But that means one of you is going to have to hold on to it. Oh, I will. <laughs> 